Canada was heavily favored as the tournament began. But when they fell 5-2 to Sweden in the opening game, all eyes were on Wayne. I know how important this gold medal is to our players, and I know how important it is to our country and our fans. And I remember saying, we made some bad decisions here. Are we, you know, are we this bad? The Americans were trying to pull a little head game with it, you know, and just saying we can't play. We, we have to play it. Uh, this kind of game and that kind of game. Well, it was all baloney, and, and Wayne went right through it and then stepped right up with the media. Uh, some of the things that are being said is that there's a little bit of unhappiness from some of the veteran players on the Canadian team. But do you feel that these are things being spread by other people, such Absolutely. as other coaches? American propaganda. <laughs> They're trying to state that there was issues between the players and the coaching staff. that the Canadian hockey style wasn't the right style to win an Olympic game. So he felt our country, uh, and more importantly, our game was under attack. And here's a break for Mario. Facing the Czech Republic, Canada got off to a strong start. But late in the game, with a score tied at three, a vicious cross-check on Canada's Theron Fleury ignited Gretzky's anger. People talk about, oh, I love the hockey at the Olympics, but quite honestly, it's dirtier hockey than the NHL hockey. We ended up going over to Sweden. The trip to Sweden was built into the schedule as a break between the four games in Canada and the four in Moscow. It was supposed to be 10 days of relaxation, with two games sprinkled in against the lightly regarded Swedish national team. Oh, it was tremendous. It was just tremendous. Plus, we played in Olympic size rink. That was a totally different thing, you know, it's wider and more room behind the net. And it was so important, you know, and then again, more conditioning, more ice time. It's another week. But when the game started, the trip turned out to be anything but a holiday. We didn't know going in how good the Swedish players were. But they were just as good as, as the Russians. Thank heavens they were, because we didn't need weak opposition, we needed tough opposition, and we got that. That's what our team needed, and uh, it was physical, it was dirty, it was the way we were going to have to play in Russia. We played the Swedes two exhibition games, and it was, it was a bloodbath. It really was. Wayne Cashman got one of the worst injuries I've ever seen. And one of these idiot Swedes filed a stick down and stuck him in the mouth, cut his tongue wide open, couldn't play. Cash came on the trip anyway. He's, he's quite a trooper, man. And we used to bug him. I'd go up and say, how you doing? And he goes, go, 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 go. Because he couldn't talk. His tongue was swollen. <laughs> couldn't eat. He had a drink through the straw. And we busted him. I would get him milkshakes. <laughs> Cashman's horrific injury required 50 stitches and kept him from playing any of the four games in Moscow. And then Fleury's knocked down in front of the net. He's hurt, though. He's still down. It struck a chord in me because <clears throat> even as a child growing up, all we ever read was the Canadian players are hooligans. Canadian players should be thrown in jail. And that's kind of how my, my adrenaline just started flowing over those first 10 or 11 minutes of the press conference. Um, am I hot? Yeah, I'm hot. Because I'm tired, tired of people taking shots at Canadian hockey. If 
we would have did what they did tonight, it would be a big story. I think the guy should be suspended for the rest of the tournament. What really bothered me about it is nobody said a word about it after the game. There wasn't one question of, do I think that was a penalty? Do I think it was something wrong? Do I think it was something that should be looked at as a suspension? Had that been a Canadian player, it would have been like chaos. And I know the whole world wants us to lose.